today we're talking about volume! Hi everybody, today we are on our third lesson about Audacity, a program that is used to edit audio tracks. And today we're going to focus on volume, how you can control the volume of your tracks. So this is the third lesson. If you missed the first couple, links will be in the description. Let's start by opening up our file that we've been working on. So I'm going to go to File, Open Recent, and open up the file we've been working on. Here it is. This is where we left off last time. We've got five seconds of silence, and then my voice. Good morning, Brown Middle School. Every student, every day, college and career ready. Today is awesome. Now, if you remember when we first created this track, the volume of the music was too loud, so you couldn't hear the speaking. Now, we controlled that volume by using this gain tool right here. Remember, as you slide this either way, it controls the volume of the track. And I'm actually going to bump that back up to the beginning uh, so that the music is too loud again. The reason I'm doing this is we're going to look at a couple of ways that we can edit the audio more precisely. Because let's say I wanted the music at the beginning to be loud and the music after I talk to be loud, but the music during my talking, uh, we needed that to be more quiet. So let's look at a couple of different ways we can do that. The first thing we could do is uh, use the auto duck tool. And the way the auto duck tool works is it automatically quiets the track while there's other speaking going on. So let's take a way, look at how that works. So we click on this track here because this is the one we need to be quiet. And we go up to effect and we click this button here, auto duck. And that's actually going to give me a warning because this track needs to be above the track that is uh, speaking. And so that's an easy thing to do. You just click here and you drag up. And now look, the music track, this track right here, is above the speaking track. So then we'll come up here again to effect and auto duck. And this menu will pop up here. This menu uh, controls how quiet the track will get, how quiet the music will get while uh, my voice is speaking. So that is this slider here. Uh, this, if you drag it all the way to the top, won't make the music any quieter. And this will make it pretty quiet. And I'm actually going to go right about there. These sliders here uh, decide or, or determine how much time there is of a fade out and then a fade back in. So I'm going to say we need it to fade out pretty quickly and then fade back in more gradually. When I hit OK, what you're going to see is this track is going to get smaller. The, these blue lines are going to get smaller when uh, while I'm speaking. Boom. So what you notice, I hope, is that now that these lines are smaller, hopefully you're starting to understand that these lines show you, it's called a waveform, show you how loud you are, right? So the music is pretty consistent up until here, and then it starts to get quieter, and then it starts to get loud again. Uh, in my speaking voice here, you can see it's pretty loud right here. And like right here, it's pretty loud. And then it quiets down for a while and then gets loud and then pretty quiet at the end. That's what these lines are trying to show you. So now what you see is loud and it gets quiet and then back loud again. Let's see if that's what actually happens. <laughs> Good morning, Brown Middle School. Every student, every day, college and career ready. Today is October 12, 2015 of the current era, and these are your morning announcements. All right, so that is exactly what happened. So that's one way you can control the audio track is by ducking it under another track. 
But let's say we needed to be even more precise. I'm gonna go ahead and undo that so we can start from scratch. This music track is always just a little bit too loud. So I'm gonna go ahead and bump that down a little bit. So now the entire track is about five decibels quieter. And now I'm gonna teach you one last tool. And what that is, is the envelope tool. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and zoom in just on the portion before and the portion after my speaking. So let's say I want it to be loud here and then get louder and quieter depending on how loud I speak. So here's how we're gonna do that. This, when I click this envelope tool, what you'll notice is there are now uh, uh, two blue bars above and below the track. And you may notice that there's two tracks here in this one track, or this, these, there's two waveforms. That's because this is a stereo track. There's one side for your left ear and one side for your right ear. So let's say I want it to be loud up until right before I talk. So I'm going to click there. And when I click there, you notice there are these now these white dots up and down. And let's say I want it to get quieter, just a little bit quieter here, because I'm still pretty loud uh, when I'm doing the intro. But then I get quiet again. So I need to make sure afterwards, after the intro, that the music gets even quieter so you can hear me. And then right here, I get kind of loud. So I'm going to up the volume here. And then I'm going to, and all I'm doing is clicking and dragging there and then right here i get really quiet so i want the music to go way down and then at the end of the audio track i want it to eventually go back up whoops oops sorry uh go all the way back up to its loudest so now what i've done is i've uh, change the, the volume of the track in multiple different places. So it gets quieter, it gets even more quiet, gets really quiet, then it gets louder again, and then it gets quiet, then it gets really quiet, and then it gets all the way back up to the top. But let's take a look. We haven't looked much at my speaking yet. So I'm going to go ahead and mute this track here, and let's just focus on my talking. Uh, one of the things you might notice is this blue waveform here never reaches the top of the bar. And what that means is we could actually make it louder without adding any distortion. So let's take a look at how we can do that. So I'm gonna start by selecting this track here. And then I'm gonna come up to Effect and Amplify. Now, what the Amplify tool will do is it'll figure out how loud it can make this track without adding any distortion. So once I hit OK, you'll notice now when I'm at my loudest, that peak now hits the top of the bar. But let's say I want the rest of the track also to be louder, not just my intro. Now I can just select just that portion of it and do the same thing. Go to Effect and Amplify and hit OK. So now the peaks are hitting the top. And then when I get really quiet down here, I, I, I need that to be as loud as it can be too. So I'm going to Effect, Amplify, and hit OK. And you can now notice, I hope, that, my, that it's going to be louder. So let's listen to the whole thing and see what it sounds like now. I'm going to unmute the music track and hit Play. Good morning, Brown Middle School. Every student, every day, college and career ready. Today is October 12, 2015 of the current era, and these are your morning announcements. All right, and now because I made the end louder, I'm going to use the envelope tool and actually bump that up so that that can be a little bit louder. So let's make sure that that still sounds okay. And hit play. Are your morning announcements. All right, and I think that sounds good. So very rarely are you gonna use just one tool to finish your job. And in this case, I've used all four, the gain tool, the amplify tool, the envelope tool, 
and the ducking tool. I hope you found this information useful or helpful. If you did, please consider hitting like or subscribe. Also in the comments, leave me some, some feedback. How are these technology lessons going? And is there anything specific you'd want to see about this program, Audacity? And I'll try to make it happen for you. As always, I'm really, really appreciative. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this, and we'll see you next time.